afternoon ladies and gents and we are at a bit of Cold War history today Kelvin Hatch nuclear bunker what you're looking at now is the old radio antenna and receiver and whatnot and there's modern stuff there as well so it's probably radio shit there as well but this is just a little snippet of what you've got over here you've got climbing and air rifle range and all that so they do quite a lot here nice views in the middle of the countryside as well this is tucked away nicely um, so join me all again for part two yeah I know especially if it is poisonous, I ain't that much of an expert. <laughs> a big, great big mushroom thing there. Um, we're just coming up to one bit of it. This is the substation for Kelvin Hatch Nuclear Bunker. And we're walking through the forest. I won't point you over that way too much because there's kids in there and playing and whatnot and stuff. But yeah. This is tucked away nicely in the forest. And it's disguised as a house. Alright mate, you're all fine. That's the climbing thing over there. 30 quid each to climb up there. I ain't paying 30 quid to fucking climb down and crush my groin on a rope. I did that once at play, you know, um... For you know I did a, a fair play house one. You ever had a fair play house? I've done that. Yeah. I've done that. I've done the splits on a rope. I've done NCS as well in Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, that's, I'd like to amazing. do that. I bet they're good then. Right, we have arrived at our location. This is one bit I'm going to film first, which is the truck. I'm with my nephew today and my niece in law, so we're all going to explore together, which should be good. Weather station, uh, interactive stuff for the kids, which is knots and all that kind of stuff. We've got a few bits and pieces here. This is what, spot, what I spotted just now, what I wanted to show you. This first, and then the other thing. Thing, sorry. Sorry. Oh, um, we'll be having an upgrade in technology from Tuesday. I finally bit the bullet, and on contract I got... A Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra so you will have the highest definition videos from a mobile phone on the market just pause and read as I say as I always say oh look that's very interesting see right inside that Wheel Adidas, they um, restored an army jeep thing like that. They had the toolkit and the boxes and everything on it. So this is this is what you want left of it is the original boxes and the fixtures and the fittings and stuff. And here we are. At the location. This is what I wanted to show you first is this. Shit, imagine being on the receiving end of that. That would be frightening, isn't it? See that coming towards you. V1. Yeah. V. Oh, what? Sorry, mate. That's a V1. That's a V1. Cheers, mate. That's, I didn't know that. That's a V1. He's good with war stuff, my nephew. This is what we uh, had in the Second World War. Flying bombs and doodle bugs and all that, as my nan called them. She used to say they was all right until they stopped. The noise stopped, and then you were you was buggered then. Paint store, I'll give you a view of the outside of the place first, and then we'll go in. Anything there? <clears throat> what is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's the the little bungalow that's underneath here is where the the nuclear bunker is and it is disguised as a bungalow so 
for a reason. All right, I'll pause you for a minute just while we go and check this out. Here we are, ladies and gents. We are deep in the Essex countryside, and in amongst all this forest, as I was saying to my nephew and my niece-in-law, that this place, its main great feature is that it was so well hidden until it became obsolete and the government gave up on it. No one other than a few people knew its location. It's a nice view, it's just like a big open field, but a nice view there, Bella. You like the countryside and that. Yeah? I'll have a look. Cheers, Bella. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice bit of countryside. As a Londoner, anyone that lives in the countryside will go, hmm, yeah. But as a, as a Londoner, we don't get to see this stuff that often, so it's nice. Let's get out into a bit of greenery. I'm glad I've put bottoms on today instead of shorts, because I'll be bitten to shredderinos. Oh, look at that donkey years old uh, ploughing instrument now. When you get yourself caught up in that. Farming is one of the most dangerous occupations in England. More farmers are killed every year doing farming stuff than in any other occupation in the UK. I'm not that knowledgeable. I just heard that on the radio the other day. Right, I'm going to pause you again. That is my Kelvin. K E L V. It's right there. Yeah, Kelton Hatch. And as my nan would have said to him, if that had a teeth boy, it would have bit you. <laughs> there we go. In we go. Right, guys and girls, we are now inside the bunker. Look at that. That was bunger. I'll bung some money in the donation thing when I'm done. Look at this. Oh, all right. Where are you going? What's he flying stuff with a fucking amp for? Oh, <laughs> Come in, I won't be a sec, mate. I'm just capturing this quickly. Very interesting. You can help yourself to one of these talking things, but... They're utterly useless and for the most part talking to us. Right, I'm going to have to put my flash on. Here we go. Oh wow, look. This is fascinating. Look, and there's my niece-in-law. I won't get your face on, Bella. But she's winding the uh, the old crankshaft telephone up. How very interesting. But not stupid. Sorry. There's a plan. They do, didn't they, when you go into the cold? I've got poor eyesight, mate, but fucking sharp as a razor hearing. Oh, mate. Go. There's some beds. Oh, it's cold in here. Look, it's the bikes. Oh, you could be a cycle around it. Yeah. He'd love it, wouldn't he? As my niece-in-law just said, these bikes are here because this place is so vast. The people that worked and administered it would uh, cycle around it. It's cold down here. Please do not pass it that guy. God. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to this sign, mate, and I'll uh, just pretend to be filming that. Does it look a bit? There we go. Stuff. I love all this kind of thing. You are? Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Danger Mouse. Do you remember Danger Mouse? Danger Mouse. I used to love that when I was a kid. You might do. Millions of years ago, glaciers caused by the ice. Just pause and read the descriptions. Caused by the ice, slowly ground their way. No. Very, very cold down here, so you'd need a good uh, jacket on your lead pipe. Just pause and read. It smells like Trevor's living room down here. Ingo, could I, could I practice this on you? <laughs> For the video purposes. Who wants to practice? No, no. <laughs> you can practice on Bella and, and I'll, I'll observe. I'll stand, I'll stand by and observe. Nineteen sixty-three. Oh, this is very interesting. First aid emergency. The cheeky fucker only wanted to practice that, only. Don't. We go. The like a cameras and all that for uh, the nuclear stuff. This would be for the men that would have to go out and check. It would be safe for other people to come out. Yeah. Mouse, this is what we saw outside. It's got these blast doors on it as well. In the other bit, we're going to see in a minute. Adults. Radio room. Or look. Interesting, wouldn't it? Like touch some of them things and hold them in there. Wouldn't you like to? Yeah. Why don't they want you? They won't, mate. Why? Some of it might be nuclear, uh, have nuclear shit on it. No, they can't be because if it's radioactive. Mm, yeah, I suppose. So, yeah. It's going to contaminate us. Yeah. Well, I suppose they're not going to let the public access certain things, are they? Just in case. People might nick them. Each of these blast doors weighs about the same as a family car. door in it now. Mm. Well, mustn't it have been terrifying if to be locked into a place like this? If that, that shit actually happened. Oof. And you consider all what's going on in the world at the moment. Makes you wonder if we're going to fucking go through it all again.
if it's going to be a long long one I'll do it in uh, increments like part one part two and all that kind of thing alright let's go for this door I'm just going to catch the staircase quickly, but I want a sec. Look at that, look. That's where we'll leave from. Way out. Uh, yeah, we'll catch that on the way out, but yeah. Just very impressive, this place. I like things like this audio trail. Danger Mouse again. And let me introduce you to our wireless telephonist for today. <laughs> she will be taking your orders, so please call and treat the staff politely. I like these things. Yeah, it would have done these things. Yeah, my nan Ingrid had one of those phones. Red one, post office phone. Look at all the different slots, look, you'd have to put your, your plug in for whichever line you wanted to connect to. Oh, sorry, man. Won't be a second, mate. I'll just catch this sign quickly. Wow, look. It's impressive, this lot. <laughs> oh, shit. It's impressive, all this lot, isn't it? Yeah, I love places like this. Oh, look, it's Polly. No, Polly, me and I went to different schools together. She's your ex, Luke. You what? She's your ex. Nah, nah, she's prettier. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, not my ex. <laughs> <laughs> that was unchristian of you, wasn't it, Brandon? <laughs> Saying things like that. He's terrible, that kid. He's always coming out with nasty things like that. He's... Pretty original, must not it? But God knows. The QWERTY keyboard. So the stuff has survived here. Can you imagine the shock he, when the bloke, the man that bought this land, he didn't know this was here. When he came down here, can you imagine the shock of what he must have had when he found all this stuff? <coughs> you all right, Bella? I've got some water in my bag if you want water. Oh, these are really old type of things. I won't stay and watch the entire 50 minute film, of course, but. Here is a list of the most important things you will need drinking water, food, mostly in tents, portable radio 
shield and spare batteries. Tin opener, bottle opener, some cutlery and crockery. Warm clothing. All right, mate. And now here is a list of some things which will make living in your four-night room much more comfortable. Beds, sleeping bags, portable stove and fuel, saucepans for boiling water and cooking, torches with spare bulbs and batteries, candles, matches, <coughs> tables and chairs. Toilet articles, soap, toilet rolls, change of clothing. You're right, that's all right. Sorry. First aid yeah. kit, household medicines and prescribed medicines. Yeah, they screw everything down, don't they? Stink pots, don't they? Stink pots, don't they? Stink pots, don't they? Stink That's the thing, there's so much in these places to see as well, isn't there? I'll probably do. Is it? Oh, right. I'll oh, see. Oh. oh, that's fair enough. Just goes to. Uh... Oh, look at that. The fuse box. Mm. There was something just out that way I hadn't checked a minute, maybe I'll go and check. This is the phone that then. Shit. This... Please don't do not touch these exhibits. <laughs> That's the phone my nan had. safe. Leads you back out that way anyway. Oh, the old talking clock lady. I remember her from when I was a kid. I think it's a bloke that does it now. Was the one I didn't check out. I'm just giving a quick view of this. This is uh, how the nuclear bunker would have kept in touch with the BBC so they could have, if there were any radios or people left to listen to the radios in the event of a, a nuclear strike, so they could have told the nation what to do and issued broadcast and instructions and stuff.
Is that meant to be Margaret Thatcher? and you think that lot's probably starting back up again. Where did they go? Oh, there's quite a lot to it, isn't there? That's brilliant, no. In a sec. I always do the sides of the room first and then the most interesting thing I'll say to last. So that um, fixed vapour rub in here. Um, warning you, if you do come here, the floor is very slippery, so go careful. Here we are, guys and girls, where we come from. That is my parish, just there, as they say.
Oh, we had a neighbour like that once, HMS Gannett. Weighed 47 stone. Well, they don't look creepy, do they? Just pause to read. That's good. Let's donate. Use your coins <clears throat> and then push them down through there. Oh look, that one works. Water is rationed, use it sparingly. Don't know if these doors are open. They're locked. That's all lit, like optics that is. It's not painted onto the glass, it's very good. There's just some storage stuff in there. More maps. I will just film it just to show like the, the bit. Yes, fine. Cheers, mate. Oh, this is interesting. And I ain't like the page. Airlock. Oh, this is the airlock. Look, keep the doors closed. Oh, it's all the ventilation and everything. Oh, I'm glad I did come and have a look at this. All the ventilation and everything for it. It's interesting, yeah. isn't it? Sorry, mate. That's right. 
Schweinhunds. Oh, here we go. It's cold in here, isn't it? Very. Cool. I bet it was cold with all these air vent things going. Sorry, it's a bit grainy, guys and girls. This should uh, be okay as from Tuesday, as I say, we're upgrading our tech. and dormitories and stuff like that. Cheers, Hector. This is a generator room by the looks of it. Plant room, yep. Quite a lot, wasn't it? I didn't think it was to be that much. It's got to be more, I reckon. There's a lot of locked rooms and doors, and there'll be bits that we can't go to. Like that staircase, where does that go up to? Which is probably another egg fire exit, if I'm honest. It says something about dormitory. But I reckon because they had dormitory here, so it's probably areas. You never know, some of these places still might. Well, I don't think this would be much use in this day and age in nuclear bombs, would it? I'd give it a good go. Yeah, I'd come down here, me too. I'd try. Oh, no. She looks happy. She looks happy. Is it she? Yeah, it's a bird, I think. Oh, is that it's a bloke? Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a bloke with very dodgy hair. Oh. There's a fire in my station. You're sorry? Fire in my station. Oh. Cheers, Bill. Emergency eye wash station, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Bella. I know, I can do this there. I hope that all these little ball things that are flying around is dust and not orbs. No unauthorised person is beyond this point. Well, we don't take notice of things like that, my dears, do we? That's it. I love places like this. Oh, oh God. Imagine if this lot all fired up. This is what I wanted to come and have a look at and show you. Because I saw this online before. The boilers and incinerators and everything. I will be quick, just in case, because I don't want to completely take the piss, but that's ventilation. Interesting, mate. Yeah, about, are you? I explore things, child. I shouldn't have liked to have been in there when that was fired up. It might have got a little bit burned. Is that a crematorium? Um, it is an intake supply, which is like a, a furnace y kind of thing that would have been filled with steam. Boiling hot steam, that's how these places were heated. You know, like the Americans, they have steam heating, don't they? A lot of these places like that, we still the pressure gauge and everything for it. That's the thing, as long as we're not causing any harm or damage or anything, I don't see what the trouble is. Oh, look, that's interesting. Guys and girls, don't forget this great big fan thing in there, mate. A ventilation thing. What a clever child. Or oh, young man. 
man rather. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah. There's some modern day ones. Can you see? Where that's mate? Oh yeah. There's a brand new one. Yep. Right. This is back to the gift shop and everything. There we are. Cheers, mate. I just don't know. Alright, yeah, I'll just catch these maps and then I'll start. No, I didn't know how much I survived. So everything, yeah, I was looking at some of them ones in there as well. It's like, See, I told you there were ones big up. Plasto was on one of the ones. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, look, look, your favourite. Candy. Candy. New Island. There's at the top as well. So you've got on the top and there's like a huge boiler. Oh, right. According to the big ones. Oh, look at that. Cheers, Bella. I'll just grab this one quickly. I should have a look at that. She's, uh, you'd make a good ex uh, explorer, you would. Uh, an exploring and stuff. Yeah. She's got, sometimes a woman's eye is good because women notice things far more than men do. This is the map, so you just walk. The map's what's on your map? The map Ah, right, yeah. Right. Sorry about that. The film. Each of these things is an hour long, so obviously I can't stand and film the whole thing. And this just shows you what. A very dulled down. What it would have been, like they're showing things like that, there would have been nothing left, but they had to dull it down to make the public not panic. And we are now back here. Are you up there, mate? Yeah. Ah, oh, brilliant. Cheers. In this stairway, which is what I wanted to capture. We are to canteen once we get up the top here. I'll have to stop. Oh, right. Oh, brilliant. I'm glad I didn't turn it off. Oh, brilliant. There's toilets there. Cheers, mate. Oh, look. Commissioner's room. I don't want... <laughs> oh my god. Principal officer. They tried to make it homely and shit like that. Whether that's been added over the years or it was originally there, I don't know. Is this the Prime Minister's one, is it Bella? Prime Minister. It doesn't really look like Boris. No. That's Margaret Thatcher. That's Margaret Thatcher, yeah, hasn't got the hair for it. Oh, no. Oops, no, just very, very quickly. Hi Maggie. The lady is not for photographing. <laughs> look, at look at this. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? What year is it? 1992. I've been seven. That's mad. Bam, what do? Let's get out of here. Cheers, man.
So you were 12 when I was born? 13. Oh. What's this way, mate? I don't know. There's so much of it, isn't there? I've got another control room. Oh, brilliant. See, this is brilliant. Like my nephew, he drives, obviously, I don't, as you all know. So, get into these sort of far out places. And it happens due to the kindness of my nephew, really bringing us out here and stuff. We've got my niece in along with us today as well, so. And she's good at spotting stuff. She's pointed out a few things that I would have missed. So, a shout out to Bella and Brandon. Brandon and Bella. Rockefeller. Amazing, isn't it? All this stuff, the original paper and everything, your phones, everything. I mean, you guys and girls all remember these, don't you? Let's go and have a look at that. That sounds interesting. Is it? Oh, I'll have a look at that in a sec, mate. Is it restricted? Fucking hell. I will have a look at that in a sec. My nephew's just spotted that. That sounds really good. David Cameron's. Uh, See, it's from the Home Office from back then. 1966. Isn't that mad? Oh, crumbs. As they'd say. Sorry, sorry. This phone always does that near lights for some reason. All of them, yeah. This new one I'm getting is not meant to do that. I fucking don't want it at that price, I'll tell you. All of these. It's loads, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, it's the original paper. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. Oh, look, who remembers these? Video recorders. Videos. Look, it says about predictions of our life. And check nuclear burst data. Shit. When you look at things like this, it's actually quite sobering because you know that the government have got all this set out, but modern day equivalent for if this kind of shit happens now. That's when it's problems and everything. Mm. Mm. Oh, Dear. You can move it as well. Come on. You can move this. <laughs> Uh, containing the actual anti-terrorist survival kit from ex-UK Prime Minister David Cameron. Oh, cheers, mate, for pointing this out. <coughs> See, they're good little spotters, they are, these two. I might have to take them on more explorers. You fancy coming down into tunnels and sewers and stuff, Bella? <laughs> sewers I don't want to do, especially as they've got polio, polio in them at the moment. <clears throat> oh, yeah, if you guys and girls didn't know... Uh, a lot of the East London sewers are running alive with polio. So that's nice, isn't it? Jesus, look at him. It's a nuclear version of the KKK. They imagine they calculated the radiations. Did they? Yeah. They know all this. this. How much radiation will be? Sobering, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my nan spoke about these. Look, the baby... Uh, gas masks where you put the whole baby in the hole of the thing and have to pump the thing. My nan put a gas mask on once and never wore one again. She was a bit claustrophobic. I don't think you'd, I bet you wouldn't like one of them, would you? Like, don't bother them. Don't they? Oh, I, I'm not that keen on them. I'm not free cow, but Nanny Liz, she didn't like these. Look at that one the baby has to go in. Look, that's so bad. Phone tapping equipment. Pirates of Penzance. <laughs> huh? Look at the video they've got in here, mate. Pirates of Penzance. For their own, like, for if they got stuck down here, videos to watch. They're going to sit and watch. Oh, going to sit and watch the Pirates of Penzance. Poor people. Yeah, I'd rather get blown up in a nuclear explosion. Yeah, installation device. Look, do you remember these? The old um, box monitors. <clears throat> As my dad calls them steam train computers. 
so archaic you practically had to put coal in some of them. So if I'm a bit wobbly, so I'm holding, holding the phone in landscape and it does make your arm ache after a while. Oh, anyone that's watched my video of the Churchyard tour of St Matthias in Poplar the other day, I have no idea what happened with the wobbling with that because it wasn't doing it while I was filming. It could have been where the phone maybe got damp or something, but these phones aren't too waterproof, so I would hope not. been printed on yet just waiting to be printed on and god knows what put onto it very sober in these kinds of things aren't they sorry i didn't notice this central operations from these desks all essential supplies will be located and distributed throughout the country transport and welfare would also be controlled from here as the officers kept in constant touch with their counterparts outside yeah so that's the thing you had bunkers all over the place so quite a few not all over the place but quite a few and people had been trained so the fire the survivors could keep in contact and basically direct operations from in here I mean housing and government minister of transport mpbw i don't know what that is can't resist, but sorry. <coughs> Yellow pages. Oh look, there's a blast from the past. Minister of Social Secretary. Minister Social Secretary. Home Office. Minister of Agriculture, Fish, and Farming Department. Sub Reg Police. Commander, it's like every, all our forces and everything that runs society as we know it, each had their own little section down here to run their operations of what was left. It's going to be quite a long one, this one, guys and girls, so you just have to watch it in several increments. Sometimes doing them in separate parts and blending them together, it can make the sound a bit crackly and whatnot. It's just easier for me to film like this. I know that not everyone likes the long ones, but I can't do everything. There is a wall on, you know. Civil defence. Shows exactly what of a what a nuclear bomb would do. Fuck. Oh, how horrid! Hmm. Mm. You what? Oh look! Oh, that's crazy! Look, floppy disk. Christ, floppy disks. My niece and I just found floppy disks. You remember them as well? So they've got everything in here, blast from the past, haven't they? First aid kit. This uh, costs £10 to come and visit, guys and girls, and I can only advise you to come and do it because it's bloody, bloody interesting.
You'll spend a good hour on this tour or more. There's just so much, look. There's another room here. Oh no, that's from there. Jesus, there's so much of it. Of course, out of that woman's hair. And then kids. Go off home and have a bath, you mucky bastards. I'm just here, mate. I just there's another little area around there, look. I know, I've already been there. Oh, sorry. that's one big circle. Yeah. Just keep discovering such. Ah, this is an interesting piece of history, guys and girls. In Custom House, there is uh, some flats, and these fences are outside these flats. They were originally World War II stretchers. So if you go by, cheers, man. If you want, if you go by, and you see any council properties with these as the fences, and there's a few of them in London. That's a World War II stretcher. Do it for England, Bella. <laughs> she does not appreciate this country that much. <laughs> but and there's the older ones, these First World War one behind there. Won't touch, won't touch them because they're old. You, sorry, Bella. Oil. Oil. Look, the uh, amount of things she's finding is so much. There's so much here. The government's definitely going down and check it out before it's been over. Definitely. Oh, they would have removed certain things. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Nice cold drinks, please pay in the honesty box. I always bring my own drinks with me. Royal Air Force, Royal Navy, Army. General District. Coal. This weren't for us people, was it? No. Nah. It's government and all, you know, like the departments that run everything, what we. Everything, yeah. They had to try and keep something going for what was left. And don't forget there was other bunkers around as well that would have kept in touch with these. And, there, and people that would have survived on the outside. A few, quite a few like civilian people were trained and stuff like that to keep in touch and wear radios and whatnot. There was a lot, a lot involved in it. I don't know, mate. Not with these new range uh, nuclear weapons. I think that's why it became obsolete, to be honest with you. Please leave dressing up area tidy. And this is for the children. Now we're going to have a look in here what my niece in laws found because there's shitloads of stuff. You've got oil over there, water, coordinator. I wonder if they put hose pipe bands on people. Uh, principal officer, NATO liaison, supervisor, county, county councils. No one's probably got their own one. Doing the open drawers. Mm -hmm. Okay, mate. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Just some old newspapers and stuff up there. Okay, is that? Thursday, August the 17th, 1995. I would have been 11. Principal office or class? Yeah. Get to the principal. You get the principal, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can find him there. Oh yeah. Make sure you rinse your hands off when we're done, but look at it could be a, it could be nuclear ink. <laughs> November the seventeenth. No, oh look, I'd uh, nineteen eighty four. Look. I've been ten months old.
Ten new TVs. Mm hmm. Ten new TVs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look. Modern TVs. That'll be for the films, I should think. They put films on, don't they? They have special open days and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Like they put nuclear days on and all, a lot of these types of places do. Government departments. And this is where we end the tour, isn't it? Alright, guys and girls, I am going to end that here then. This is the old Geiger counters for the nuclear energy. Check it, everything is... None of them work, though. Nah, nah, not now they wouldn't. Not riddled with nuclear stuff, so yeah, there we go. Hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Thank you. to winch stuff up and down with. I heard about that online as well. Yeah, yeah it would be, yeah. Wouldn't have to use a trolley. <laughs> the sick bay? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Ah. Yeah. Oh, you can smell the um, medicine stuff in here, can't you? Mm. Sorry. Our operating theatre. Wow. Oh, there's dormitories and everything. I'm glad I didn't um, stop the video. Yeah, Look what they got on the COVID 19 booster. COVID 19 booster. Oh my god, look. Fuck you, Yeah. I know where they can shove their yeah, COVID nineteen. TCP. Nan loves it. Yeah, I use TCP. Yeah. You should grab a ball. <laughs> I've got a home. <laughs> yeah, I like TCP. It's good that cure anything that would. Do you like this? Oh, this is used. Your bed. This is used from back then. Mm. Yeah. Feel this. I'm having that itchy. This is. Oh, Nan Liz had these blankets. They're army blankets. They're horrible, aren't they? Yeah, they're really itchy. She had two of those. I used to have to uh, have those on my bed when I slept there in the winter time. I've still got like one. Them? Yeah, I've still got one in the bottom of my trunk. Do you like them? No. <laughs> Oh, don't. Oh, this is what I'm getting when I die. What? Cardboard coffin. A shoebox. <laughs> it's just a large shoebox. It's free, isn't it? Yeah. I was going to say I'll stand in that and do a joke. I tried to do it. I was going to do it to you, but it's now shut. Yeah, it's just, yeah. And you have to be small as well. Um, You're way taller than I'm that. superstitious, you know, as well. And then I did it once in Whitby with a medieval stone coffin and mine had such a go at me. She went, don't you dare ever do that again, shouldn't you? will be in one of them things soon. Don't tempt fate. You know how superstitious old people are, don't they? Did have a point, actually. Oh, them pillows look very comfortable. They don't look. You what? Sorry. Them pillows look very that, comfortable. The, yeah, there, there'll be feather pillars from those days. They didn't have all that family stuff. I know. Frightening fault, wouldn't it, really, all that? No, this is actually the end of the This is the end of it.
Yeah. Yeah, they did. If they needed to, they. I think they had enough, had enough supply in these places for about 18 months. You'd never, you'd never last. You'd never last years in in a bunker. I don't think. More dormitories. Right, we're coming up to the canteen now guys so I'm going to call this an end of it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, please give it a like and a share. And I'll probably give you some outside views in a minute. So, okay. Small wasps nest found behind the blast shutters. That's mad, isn't it? So, mm. if wasps can get in, it makes you wonder how much how effective this place would have been. You'd never know that was there, would you? Unless you walked through it, of course, and then you'd know it was there straight away. But I'm just be oh, look at Anderson show. I'm just being flippant. All right, Agatha and Oscar, you both okay there? Yeah. You have just visited a third world war bomb shelter. This is a second world war. Bomb shelter, the Anderson shelter, named and developed for Sir John Anderson, designed to shelter up to six people, t protecting them from the Blitz bombing raids. Uh, it came with the price tag of seven pounds, three hundred and ninety pounds in today's money. It was free to anyone who earned less than five pound a week. Approximately three point five million were built, and they mostly gave them really to people that lived near docks, railway lines, and strategic areas that was going to have the crap bombed out of them. But these things, once they were buried and put into the ground, they were absolutely hideous to go inside because they'd fill up with sewage and dirty water and stuff. Right, guys and girls, I hope you all enjoyed that. Take care all and see you soon.